Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Paki. Hi, everybody. Hello, world. How you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty good. So I'm going to share with you, we've done a tapping and I had a feeling that I wanted to do a little bit of a different kind of a tapping today. Not, we've done tapping on boundaries before, um, but I wanted to do a tapping on the fear of setting boundaries, which is a little different. Mm -hmm. um, because I know like for me, it's come up lately, just feeling um, that, you know, there are certain times and it doesn't even have to be a big thing, whether it's like you're getting lunch with a friend and you need to like see them at, maybe you said you would see them on Thursday, but like Thursday doesn't work and maybe you just can't do it. And, or, you know, you need certain things to go or do things for yourself. It's not really about someone else um, for your own peace of mind or well being. And for whatever reason, because of people pleasing, because of fear of their reaction, because of any other issues, sometimes you might feel like it's a little scary just to set those boundaries. Yeah, I think. Um... I think people have um, a fear of setting boundaries um, for a couple reasons. One is I feel that they have the fear of rejection in some way, maybe, you know, even if it's not that particular person, you know, if anybody knows about it, you know, and then I fear that, I mean, I feel that they um, are afraid of confrontation. Oh, absolutely. The confrontation. Um you know, feeling like if you if you grew up in chaos and if you grew up around a, a drama, I feel that people who have boundary issues, the majority of them have grown up, have been raised, which is the majority of the planet, <laughs> but um, have been um, raised in a broken home or a dysfunctional environment. And they're they're so used to being around drama and, and trauma that once they get to be an adult and they're living away from their family, they tend to um, be afraid of confrontation because well, they might be, yeah. Yeah, it's a fear of saying no, even if it's what's best for you. Um, you know, um, I think it's Oprah, Oprah who says something like, um, no is actually a yes to yourself. Mm -hmm. So so many times you're saying, you know, I need this and I need it. And you, you know, and that's really all it, there's, there doesn't need to be an explanation. I, mm -hmm. I remember, um, I'm gonna say in the last few years, I realized like if I didn't do something or if I, if I, if I just decided I wasn't going to do something or change plans or something, I would always think to myself, well, what am I gonna say? How am I gonna explain it? And then at a certain point I realized, oh, I can just say no, or mm -hmm. I can tell them the truth if I feel like telling them the truth <laughs> about mm -hmm. why I'm not gonna do something. But it was at first, there was a time and it was just like, I'd have to like say something, you know, instead of saying like, I, you know, like, you know, for instance, I can't go to lunch because, or I can't go to that party. I'm sorry, my back hurts. Well, maybe my back didn't hurt. I just didn't want to go to the party. So I'm not going, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's an interesting conversation to have for sure. I mean, there's so many times where I wanted to say no and I didn't. Um, and then, but when I did say no and I took time for myself, I was so happy. Yeah. And I felt like um, space freed up in me, um, in my mind, in my spirit and in my body and in my heart, Absolutely. because I feel like, I feel like when we do things that are, don't resonate with us or don't, are not in our alignment, then we tighten up so much, exactly. um, you know, and we're holding, we're not expressing how we feel and we're not being authentic to ourselves. 
and then that causes resentment. Absolutely. And then that other, the second piece is another video we did, don't take it personally. So when mm -hmm. people react, that's really about their, their reactions are about them. And, mm -hmm. and did you say something about transference? Did you say something about transference or what is it that something that you said? Oh, well, if I think about it, if it comes up, I'll, I'll mention it during, during our tapping, but I, I felt like there was some transcend. Well, I, I don't know. But that's not the word. Anyways, if I think about it. Transcendent? Transcendent? No. Transmuting? I'll, I'll think about it. Transmuting? About it. <laughs> okay. Let's just. I'm going to turn my light on. Okay. Just keep going. Let's okay. just start breathing and tapping. So really just tapping into. And put your feet flat on the ground, guys and ladies. Um, and gentlemen, <laughs> put your feet flat on the ground while we're tapping today. Ladies, we don't say that enough. And whoever you are, however you are, we're, we're all welcome here. And um, just tap into that fear of setting boundaries. So just whatever it is, whether it's a little small thing or a big boundary that you have to set. And tapping into that, just allowing yourself to feel, like for me, there's a big ball in my throat that comes up. Mine always comes up in my heart, like the heart wall. And you know how hard I've, I, I've worked on breaking that down. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So I really feel it. I really feel it now because I'm so in touch with it and I'm so in tune with it because I've worked, I've done so much work on it. Mm -hmm. So when I do feel those icky feelings, I call them icky feelings. <laughs> um, I feel it in my heart. Mm -hmm. so, it tightens up. I feel this icky feeling in my heart. I feel this icky feeling in my heart. I feel a big ball in my throat. I feel a big ball in my throat. Big fear. Big fear. Fear of setting a boundary. Fear of setting a boundary. A fear of saying how I feel. Fear of saying how I feel. A fear of the consequences. A fear of the consequences. Of saying no. Of saying no. Of saying, I need it to be this way. Of saying, I need it to be this way. Even though even though I have this fear. I have this fear. I accept myself. I accept myself. Exactly as I am. Exactly as I am. Exactly where I am. Exactly where I am. Right in this moment. Right in this moment. Even though even though I'm carrying, I'm carrying somebody else's water, somebody else's water, Some, somebody else's emotions, somebody else's emotions. Taking on, taking on something I shouldn't take on something that I shouldn't take on. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And I forgive anyone else. And I forgive anyone else. Who ever taught me to do this. Who ever taught me to do this. I'm forgiving myself right here and right now. I'm forgiving myself right here and right now. And I'm forgiving myself. And I'm forgiving myself. 
For all of the times. For all of the times. I did this. I did this. For all of the times. For all of the times. I gave in to fear. I gave in to fear. <sighs> for all of the times. For all of the times. I gave into codependency. I gave into codependency. For all of the times. For all of the times. I let my voice be small. I let my voice be small. For all of the times. For all of the times. I disregarded. I disregarded. Or ignored. Or ignored. My emotions. My emotions. My gut instincts. My gut instinct. My heart's true calling. My heart's true calling. And the voice that I honor. And the voice that I honor. For all of the times. For all of the times. I didn't use my wisdom. I didn't use my wisdom. And I landed into resentment. And I landed into resentment. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And I forgive anyone else involved. And I forgive anyone else involved. I cut that resentment. I cut that resentment. Out of my body. Out of my body out of my spirit out of my spirit out of my cells out of my cells out of my organs out of my organs and out of my energy system and out of my energy system i cut that fear i cut that fear out of all of those places also out of all of those places also. And I am, am empowered. And I am empowered. To say yes to myself. To say yes to myself. Lovingly say yes. Lovingly say yes. Be myself, Pocky. I can be myself, Cynthia. I think that's what you said. <laughs> Say yes to myself, Pocky. Say yes to myself, Cynthia. I honor my voice. I honor my voice. I honor my heart. I honor my heart. I honor my gut. I honor my gut. And I stay grounded. And I stay grounded. The wind can't knock me over, people. Yes, I'm empowered. Mm -hmm. I'm empowered. Radiating love. I'm radiating love. And I'm honoring my boundaries. And I'm honoring my boundaries. How are you feeling, Cynthia? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I think that, um, you know, maybe maybe next one, uh, we will do a visualization of cutting the boundaries, um, an actual um, uh, guided, um, it just came to my mind, that's why I'm sharing it. So I'm thinking that this is great. And I think maybe, um, maybe next week or maybe this weekend, we can do a guided vis visualization uh, for cutting boundaries. Mm -hmm. So it'll make it even more visceral. Yeah, setting, setting those boundaries and creating. And, you know, it's like creating a container of, so if, you know, it's like creating a garden. Like if you, if you have a garden, you need to cut out the weeds. You need to set, set the fence and you need to, do you know there's all of these things that but it's also the other thing too remember when we talk about the butterfly mm -hmm. you know um if if we are trying to um 
if we know something um, that is not in in our in our uh, capacity or in our scope of practice or is something out of our um, you know out of whatever I, I don't know how to explain it but what we if we see somebody going through something it has to be their transformation yeah. and you know we can only do so much yes and if we're in transformation mm -hmm. and we're the butterfly we have to be in and, you know we have to empower uh, you know i think you were talking about the cocoon and how if you met that's what i meant like you know it when the when the um when it's the caterpillar and it's the metamorphosis the when it's going through the metamorphosis whatever um if we're it, it's a lot of us are going through that right now Mm -hmm. And we're in synchron in synchronicity. So my point is, is if you know, we have to remember too, um, the codependency side of it. Um, we don't push that along, you know. I mean, we and 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 that is sometimes tough love because you see this, you see the um, you see the caterpillar in, in the cocoon, and you see them struggling. And, you know, you want to do something to help, but we're, you know, in that moment, that has to be their thing. Exactly. And, yeah. And also, it, it, you might see yourself as a butterfly and just say, I don't need your interference with my... Well, and that's what I was saying. We're all doing it at the same time. A lot of us are doing it right now in this very moment. A lot of us, you know, all over the planet, you know, that's why it's so strong right now and so powerful what we're feeling because we all have this moment um, of clarity and um, where we're having to face a lot of things that we've been pushing aside because we were keeping ourselves too busy. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Cynthia. I really loved this tapping and I feel a lot lighter and looser. And I think like that, it's like weird because it's, I think being women, being in this world, um, we experience this a lot, the fear of saying no, the fear of setting boundaries, the fear of setting and boundaries. And being empaths yes. and being healers and body workers. Exactly. And, yeah. um, and here, you know, saying no with love to people we love. So just because you say no, it doesn't, it's not really personal. It's just more what you need. So mm -hmm. Um, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's how I feel. Pocky and I are always. That's why we always work together because it's like we are synchronicity sisters. It's so weird because we'll just like we'll like be like okay, we'll talk for a week and like we're still like. Oh, I love that name, synchronicity sisters. <laughs> I just came up name. with that. <laughs> it's so clever. I that might be I a new a new thing for I, us. I too. think so. I think so. Oh my gosh, that's cool. All right, so um, synchronicity sisters. <laughs> synchronicity sisters. I'm gonna do a dance too, but I'll do it like my silly. All you writers out there can come up with something for us. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Synchronic synchronicity sisters for right now. Okay, so. We have a Facebook group, um, Empowering Wellness at Home, and we do lots of wonderful stuff there. We have um, an Instagram, a YouTube. Uh, both of us have YouTube channels, and I always link to both of them on our videos. Um, we have an Instagram. You can like and subscribe to both of our channels. Click the little bell and subscribe comments on let us know how do you like the name Syn synchronicity sisters do you like the song that cynthia <laughs> just did it was it was a spontaneous thing so like oh it. and but we will be having a just you know it would be awesome if you guys subscribe any of you who are new to the channel or watching our video because um, we are starting a podcast in January is going to be our target date. So yeah. we have all kinds of things going on, but we also are in, um, you know, transition ourselves. So you'll start to see a lot of new things. And then, you know, maybe down the road, um, you know, we may get rid of a few things, but one thing for sure, we're definitely um, launching a podcast in January. 
So maybe that's the name of the podcast. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm so clever. As long as nobody else has it. (laughs) All right. So thanks so much for watching. And um, anything else you want to say? And until next time, everyone, just keep tapping. Bye.